Now we're going to talk about a disease that has to do with genetics. So let me start by asking you a question. Do we have a gene for aldosterone? The answer is actually we don't because aldosterone is a steroid hormone. So it's made of not amino acids, but it's made from cholesterol. So actually we have a gene for a protein which itself makes aldosterone. So that's the gene I'm drawing here. So how do we control how much aldosterone we make? Well, like anything else, we have a little promoter, so I'll write P there, which comes before the aldosterone on our DNA. And likewise, we also have a promoter for the gene that makes the protein that makes cortisol, since cortisol is also a steroid hormone. So what tells this promoter to go ahead and activate this gene? Well, it's actually something called ACTH, which stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone. So when you have ACTH, by some indirect sequence of events, it activates this and causes your body to make a bunch of cortisol. Now the disease we're going to talk about has to do with an abnormality that happens during meiosis. So during meiosis you have crossing over or recombination. And the disease we're going to talk about happens when there's crossing over but the genes are misaligned. So what happens is you get recombination between the cortisol and aldosterone areas such that you end up with a messed up gene where the promoter for cortisol controls the production of the protein which actually makes aldosterone. Now before we go on and figure out what the consequences of this would be, I just want to mention that at baseline your body normally makes a lot of cortisol, a lot more than it makes of aldosterone for example.